As soon as I got to the park for the company party, it was clear that everyone was already in full-on party mode. The sun was blazing, and the whole place smelled like heaven thanks to that freshly cut grass and that charcoal grill. Plus, there were these cherry blossom trees going off all over the place, dropping pink petals like they were going out of style. So, I'm lugging all this food over to the tables, and I see some movement by the old outdoor showers. And that's when I saw your hair. I instantly knew it was you, my home girl, my work crush. Psst, hey, what are you doing? Why are you hiding? I am being quiet. Why do I have to whisper? Is this some sort of game they've got? You suddenly yank me in front of you when I'm close enough. Whoa, whoa. Are we playing no armor paintball? Why am I your human shield? What the? I turn around so I can see you better and get a look at your face. It's ashen and I immediately know something's wrong. Hey, really, what's wrong? Why are you hiding? Did Steve try that shit with you again? <sighs> I hastily put the bags down and look for that asshole. I'm gonna... Hey. Hey, where are you... Jesus, you're strong. You use me as a body shield again when our boss walks by, not yet noticing us. You quickly yank me towards the front of the showers and pull us both through that rickety wooden door. White chips of paint fall into the cracked concrete below. We both tumble through the door and I catch myself before I crush you beneath me. You're leaning down on your hands and knees, hurriedly pushing yourself back up to your feet. But before you manage the awkward task, I catch a glimpse of something strange. My mood instantly changed to concern. Why are you bleeding? I grab your arm and spin you around to face me, running my hands over your hair, your arms, your hips, quickly checking you for injuries. Did he... What did... I swear, I'm gonna... You cover my mouth with both hands, shushing me. Your face is bright red. The most embarrassed I've ever seen you. You whisper to me. The words barely audible. It's shark week. My eyebrows scrunch confused. What? Who's on flow? Look, I'm, I'm obviously not picking up what the hell you're throwing down right now. You turn even brighter after that. Can you clue me in here? Because it looks like you're hurt. And I... You shout it out. Obviously frustrated. Oh. Oh. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Yep. Ten, four. Loud and clear. Understood, big buddy. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, right. Yep, 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 yep. Y'all know we're good. 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 Yep. Yep, I got you. You bury your face in your hands at my idiotic words, and my uncomfortableness changes to pity. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I lift your chin with my fingers, gently pry your fingers apart so I can see at least one of your eyes. It's no biggie. It happens to my sisters all the time. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, right, you call me. I don't have any sisters. You got a superpower level memory. <laughs> It's really not that bad. I could hardly tell. I see, but then think to myself. I could really tell. It looked like someone tried to murder you. Steve, you get to live another day, bro. Here, I'll be your human shield all the way back to your car. Can you make it to... Okay. You grab my hand and shake your head furiously, pleading with the scaredest puppy dog eyes I've ever seen. Well, uh... Seeing as this is a spider-infested hangout for creatures of all varieties, it'll make a nice place to camp out in for the rest of your life. I look around jokingly. You could hang some nice teal curtains over there. A water feature, maybe next to the toilet. Ow, you little minx. <laughs> I shake the finger that you pinched. Not really hurt. Fine, 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 fine. Look, joking aside, I'll help you. Ah, uh, just give me a second here. I mumble as I bite my lip. Thinking, hmm. They don't train us for this scenario in Call of Duty. I look to the ceiling as if repel ropes will suddenly appear from a chopper and we can escape that way. Totally doable. Super sneaky and not loud or noticeable at all. Sighing, I realize what I have to do. 
and I'm surprisingly okay with it. I'll be right back. Hang tight. I lumber over to the stall and shut the creaky door. I'm sure you can figure out what I'm doing since my arms are visible above the stall when I reach up to remove my shirt. Wanting to make the awkward situation less, well, awkward, I pretend to trip when I'm removing my pants and fall into the wooden partition. <laughs> I cuss and shout. A spider the size of a Volkswagen is about to suck my face off in here, man. God. You giggle beyond the stall and I grin. All right, full disclosure. I say as I step out of the stall, holding my black boxers in hand and the long white soft undershirt I pulled off beneath my button-up. I normally have swamp ass within 52 minutes of wearing my boxers, but I literally just showered 15 minutes ago before racing here from my house, so you're in luck. They still smell linen fresh. I toss them to you and you catch them with wide eyes. I turn around, giving you privacy. Waiting, I realize you haven't moved. Glancing over my shoulder to make sure it's safe, I turn back around. My brows scrunch when I notice you have slid to the concrete floor. You're back against the wall. Your face is buried in your hands again. Your legs pulled up to your chest. I instantly crouch down to your level when I realize you're crying. The soft sounds drilling into my heart. Hey, hey, it's okay. I gather you into a hug unable to stop myself. You swallow, wiping at your eyes and sniffling. You look down at your legs, completely ashamed and overwhelmed. Okay, joking me is over. Serious me steps up, taking charge. Listen, I'm going to take care of this, okay? Don't you be shy with me. I reach over to the sink and yank out a handful of brown paper towels. They're loud and scratchy, but they'll have to do. I flip on the sink and soak them their damn wetness trailing down my hand. Pull down your legs for me, okay? I gently place my warm hand in your knee. Shh, it's okay. You can hide behind your hands the entire time if you want. Just let me take care of you. Reluctantly, you allow the pressure of my guiding hands on your knees to lower them to the chilly concrete floor beneath us. Can you take off your shorts? I won't look, just slide them off. I look away, thinking you won't do it, but then you do, which surprises me. You hurriedly toss them to the side, relieved we're getting somewhere in this situation. The fact you trust me, I mean at a time like this, swells as something more in my chest. It's a feeling I, I really like. Taking a chance, I turn back, meeting your eyes and not looking down. Not yet. Good girl. Okay, um... I'm, I'm just going to help clean you up. Slowly, so very slowly, I reach down with the damp towel beneath my fingers and lay it softly against your inner knee. Asking permission with my eyes. You swallow hard and look away, embarrassed. But you nod, ever so slightly, for me to continue. Still crouched, I gently use both hands to rest on your knees. You're still wearing underwear. A pink, frilly little thing with... Is that my little pony? I shake the thought away and return to business. That visual will be burned in my memory forever. In a good way. Hey, kitten, I'm going to need you to go ahead and open your legs a little. Can you do that for me? Hesitant, you move them a, a centimeter apart. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Look, let me show you. Slowly and very gently, I use my fingers to pull your legs open. Bit by slow bit. Water trailing from the paper towel runs down your inner thigh. There. Much better. Now I can see what I'm doing. Lightly, I place the paper towel against the inner part of your leg next to your knee, slowly wiping away the offending liquid, making my way further and further down your leg as I go. You gasp a little when the paper towel skims across your panties. I bite my lip, determined to hold myself together. It's difficult. Very difficult. You're just so damn adorable. And I've always felt a connection with you, and I just want to touch those soft pink lips of yours with my fingers. And I... No. No. Damn it. Focus. Oh, you're so vulnerable right now. I don't want to shatter the trust that you've obviously just given me. 
Laser focused, I wipe away the rest of the stains taking care to still be gentle. But then I feel a yank on my collar and I look up, surprised. Your tear-stricken eyes are still moist with your tears, but you're looking at me now with a gratitude that goes beyond friendly co-worker and then in the realm of something else. Something I really like. Something I've always wanted. We stare at one another, two unmoving statues, our faces only a hand's length away. Oh, a man can only take so much. Taking your invite as clear interest and a return of affection, I grab your face in both hands, the paper towel suddenly forgotten. Controlling myself, I lower my lips down to yours, savoring my first taste of you. An unbidden growl escapes my lips as the possessiveness I've always harbored beneath the surface comes out unrestrained. Taming the beast within, I carefully taste you more, moving my lips against yours in a tender caress. Taking my time. When you open your lips with a soft moan, I take advantage and slip my tongue inside to greet yours for the first time. Mm, God, you taste like everything I always imagined you did. A loud knock sounds at the door and you shoot up, stricken with fear and embarrassment. Occupied, I growl, agitated. The poor co-worker behind the door is probably running for the hills at my tone. I hear giggling and you're blushing with your hand over your mouth. You already pulled on my boxers and long white teeth that look like normal exercise attire on you since they swallow you whole. No one would tell you didn't come to the park dressed like that. Jesus, that was fast. What are you, the Flash? I grin, standing to my feet. You double over and your giggles turn into a full belly laugh. The type you try to hide and it comes out all choking and crazy sounding the more you try to keep it in. <laughs> all right, funny girl, come here. I take your hand in mine and lead you to the door. You, still caught up in both the relief of the situation, some nerves, and your adorable snorting giggles. <laughs> Unlocking the door, I wrap my arm in a friendly way across your shoulders. You still shake him with laughter. I lean in and whisper in your ear as I open the door and let in the bright sunshine. Let's go eat some nasty picnic food that will most likely give us dysentery. And listen up, kitten. I whisper even lower closer to your ear. I'm not done with you yet. I'm just getting started. With that, I grin and step out the door, beckoning you over to the world beyond.